we're back. Hair here, here to talk about the Fiend's return. Finally, he's returned to the WWE uh, tonight here at Fastlane. So the rumors have been going on months ever since the the demise, quote unquote, for the fire, brimstone, everything from Randy Orton, um, everything from the match, letting it, letting him on fire, everything like that. Um, rumors pointed to WrestleMania. Well, first started with Royal Rumble. R uh, rumors about WrestleMania. Now, now rumors came about Fastlane, and um, of course. You know, we took them with a grain of salt, except this week they were very, very heavy. I knew as soon as they put Alexa Bliss against Randy Orton in a match, we both know how WWE is with, is with the intergender um, matches, stuff like that. So I knew that, okay, maybe we'll see a glimpse of the Fiend, of the new Fiend. And of course, we did get that. Now, um, of course, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, comments. The internet goes crazy, viral, you know, as things happen. People have been waiting for the Fiend for months, as have I. Tell from my shirt, memorabilia, stuff like that. So um, it does. It happens. So Alexa Bliss and Randy Orton, they're having their match. They never get into contact with each other. She throws a fireball at him. Um, the lights fall on him. The actual light bearings fall on him. Well, almost fall on him. They miss him by a little bit. He kind of chases chases her around, and then all of a sudden you see this burnt, yes, I say burnt hand, grab Randy Orton's leg, and uh, you see smoke coming out of the ring of the hole where the hand was coming out. And then the rest is basically history. So the Fiend emerges. The new Fiend emerges. We've been talking about what it's going to look like. We know there's going to be a new mask. We know there's going to be a new look, possibly. We got all of our answers tonight. And um, some of them were positive. Some have been negative. And with me, being a huge Fiend fan that I am, I'm a little bit mixed up about it. Part of me... So first and foremost, when I saw the mask, um, yes, it looks like a, the regular Fiend mask you know, being burned, being um, Freddy Krueger-esque type of um, mantra, anything like that. So that happens. It looks like the Fiend mask, just black, a little bit of shredding going on too. Looks awesome. I thought, like, oh, that's sick as fuck. That's awesome. I like that. Now, he comes up and everything's looking black, dark. Um, like I said, you notice you have this burn, burned quote-unquote hand with the fiend glove, the I think the hurt or the heel glove, it's kind of torn off a little bit, but part of it is on. So they're tr WWE is trying to make the mantra that the fiend did get burned. His whole body is burnt to crisp. He's uh, essentially what they tried to ta say what happened to Kane. You know, but when Kane took off his mask, you know, he was just was just black makeup. This they're trying to say the fiend is actually his whole body's burned supposedly. So now what that means is there, there isn't going to be any more Firefly Funhouse, or if there is, he's going to be all burnt up, or they're going to say that they are actual two separate beings. I'm not sure what they're going to do with that. Um, real quick, like I said, I love the mask, the new mask. It looks awesome, looks deranged, looks wicked, looks evil, but I don't like the costume. I don't like that he's actually burned. I mean, if he is a supernatural guy, he, maybe he didn't actually get burned, even though it showed it, because... There's a lot of bending of rules that happens with this. A lot of you can you can mess with the, with the rules because he is the supernatural guy. He survived so much already. Because in actuality, if someone gets their whole body burned, I mean they're burnt to they're literally burned their ashes, right? So he they showed him getting burned alive supposedly. So um, I'm not sure what they're trying to do with this. They're, again, they're trying to say he didn't get burnt um, all the way. I guess to ashes. He just got. You know, his skin was just to burned for the most part. And that's it. Nothing else. Um, again, I'm not a fan of it. It looks very cheesy. looks very fake. It looks, like looks like he's wearing snake skin on his... Uh, very scaly on his arms. And then his whole... Uh, his rest of his body co is covered with black. Like a black long sleeve. You know, thick black pants. Um, looks very basic, generic. And then he's wearing a vest. It's kind of the same discoloration as his skin. Which I think is kind of odd too. looks very cheap. Um... So uh, the, the overall image looks good. The mask looks good. He looks deranged and evil and stuff like that. But the part partially overall because the rest of it, from the neck down, I feel like looks very cheap, generic, and um, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not going to lie. I used to love the Fiend's um, regular attire. You know his his black tank top with the prayer hands, and then he has all his tats showing. Then his uh, sweet tooth esque, not sweet tooth esque, but killer clown-esque pirate pants red and black stripe looks awesome the whole look was amazing um now like i said he's a burn victim and um 
I'm not just not a huge fan of how it just looks very cheap and generic the bottom half again the mask looks great fan of the mask just the bottom half um, not, I'm not a big fan of uh, I you know I don't know what else to say about it it's fun to see him I hope I got a comment earlier um, when I was you know talking about Instagram stuff like that the uh, one of the guys pointed out which I think it would be a good idea the fiend is supernatural maybe he's gonna he's going to recover every week Maybe they'll keep that mask just to sell, you know, sell mm, uh, shirts, action figures, stuff like that. But maybe the rest of him recovers. So I can't see him continuing to wrestle with the fake, fake burned hands and all that stuff. It's going to be a little, it's kind of tacky, it's kind of cheap, like I said. Um, so the guy tells me that maybe he'll start recovering every week since he's supernatural. His hands will come back to form and everything and everything else. I really can't see him being in that suit that he's wearing. Um... Like I said, cheap, generic. That's what I keep getting to my mind when I saw it. Um, so it could be a little bit underwhelming. Again, the mat, when I first saw the mask, I was like, holy shit, like everybody else. The rest of it, not too crazy about. But um, whatever the case may be, it is what it is. Um, I'm glad he's back. I'm, of course, we're going to get Randy Orton versus The Fiend at WrestleMania. So Alexa Bliss technically beat Randy Orton. They actually had a cover. She covered him. They pinned him. Uh, the referee counted, so she won. So, of course, you're not going to have The Fiend lose to Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Um, so, yeah, I do hope I do hope that they do, that they do change his attire. His attire looks, like I said, tacky, cheap, um, underwhelming, generic right now. It's just black with a cheap vest. And then you have your fake burned hands and the cool new mask, which is awesome. You, could sell, you can sell a lot with that. It's great. Um, the Fiend merchandise already sells like crazy. Now you have a whole new mask to sell. Burnt, looks crazy, demonic. Um, looks awesome. Love the new mask hate the bottom down the attire just again i'll say it one more time cheap generic tacky um you know the whole nine yards as far as that goes so um you know it is what it is i'm, I'm happy to see the fiend back and i'm hoping to see this goes in a great direction they're they're very good storytellers uh randy Orton, alexa bliss and bray wyatt himself so uh i'm sure there'll be a good build up i like to see all this craziness going on hopefully he gets new theme music slipknot Hint, hint, he was supposed to have that in the beginning anyways. Slipknot um, would be great. He already looked like a band member of them anyways. So, you know, the Fiend character. So let's do it. Um, let's see what you guys think. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me you agree with me. Tell me, oh, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard because I've already been uh, talking with people about it on the comments um, as far as Instagram goes. So, you know, follow it. The Hair and the Beard Podcast. And then you got to underscore right after that uh, T. So... Let me know what you think. Again, I'm not super crazy about the attire. I wish it would have been a little bit, I don't know, just, they could have even kept it, kept him how he was and just made the face, I guess you could say, burn, quote unquote, just a mask, but he's so powerful that it didn't affect his body. But, because like I said, the whole scaly, fake burn, hand stuff, I'm not with it. I'm not about it. We'll see what happens. Hair.